Dr. Owen Brink from Appalachian Wellness, talking about the promises and the rewards of recovery. The program is a very honest program, and the only part of the program I have found in my time in it is this is the only dishonest part about it. It's so hugely understated, you wouldn't believe it. You have to experience and see it for yourself, and the only way to do that is to go to lots of meetings and encounter lots of people who have been through worse than you have. The 12 promises of recovery and the 12 rewards of recovery are about the only dishonest part of this program of really rigorous honesty. And the reason they're dishonest is because they're so hugely understated. <laughs> recovery is, again, it's not about not using. It's about having such a great life that you don't want to use. Imagine being able to attain the peace of mind and relaxation that in the past required using and abusing substances and behaviors, but being able to do so without abusing and to live peacefully in that state forever. The 12 promises of recovery and the 12 re rewards are hugely understated. First, the promises. We are going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. We will not regret the past or wish to shut the door on it. We will comprehend the word serenity and we will know peace. No matter how far down the scale we have gone, we will see how our experience can benefit others. That feeling of uselessness and self-pity will disappear. We will lose interest in selfish things and gain interest in our fellows. Self-seeking will slip away. Our whole attitude and outlook on life will change for the better. Fear of people and of economic insecurity will leave us. That does not mean to say we will never have economic insecurity again. It simply says that we will not fear it. When it happens, we will know that we'll be okay. We will intuitively know how to handle situations which used to baffle us. Those jackpots that we used to get in that would leave us all twisted, tied up, and upside down and baffle the heck out of us. We didn't know where to go or what to do next. From this point, you'll be able to avoid them. And when something comes up, you won't have to sweat it. You will get an inspiration. That's God talking to you. And you will effortlessly glide out of these problems. We will suddenly realize that, indeed, God is doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. Now, this does not mean God will do for us what we should be doing for ourselves. Well, there are words of recovery. Hope instead of desperation. Faith instead of despair. Courage instead of fear. Peace of mind instead of confusion. Self-respect instead of self-contempt self-confidence instead of helplessness, the respect of others instead of their pity and contempt, a clean conscience instead of a sense of guilt, real friendships instead of loneliness, a clean and clear pattern of life instead of a purposeless existence drifting along without direction, the love and understanding of our families instead of their doubts and fears, the freedom of a happy life instead of the bondage of addictive obsession. These promises, these rewards are unbelievably understated. Join us and prove it to yourself.